Here they are, the astronauts uh, have begun to emerge uh, from their bio break. And I'm, I'm not sure which pair this is. I, I think that might be Victor and Suichi. You have better eyes than I do, uh, Kate. I think that might be <laughs> Shannon. And, yeah, I think that's Shannon I'm on sorry, the right. I'm sorry, Shannon, yeah. Okay, Victor and Shannon. So they are getting inside the elevator. Aww. This is the same elevator Nicole's on. Yes, it is. <laughs> So I mentioned before that we have something called the advanced team. And I just, I, when I learned about this. Okay, that's Mike and Shannon. Um, when I learned about the advanced team, they, they are responsible for, like I said before, making sure the hatch is open, the cabin has uh, communications and lights. They're also responsible for making sure that someone has the elevator keys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, you can't just get in there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, the devil's in the details. Yeah. For sure. Now, when the astronauts ascend here, um, just as in the, the olden days, the levels of the tower are not marked one, two, three, four, and so on. They are marked by foot height. So they press the 255 foot button and ride to the top. Okay, and here's our first look at that level um, where they come out of the elevator. Now they're going to make their way around because they have a handful of stairs to climb uh, to get up to the level where um, the crew access arm is. That's that long suspended walkway. So here they go up the steps. Got to work for it. Yeah, okay. right? Well, they've made it this far. What's a couple more steps? Oh, look how beautiful. It's been a long time since I've had the, the privilege of being up there and seeing that view up in person, but it is just, words don't do it justice. Yeah. Okay, so here's a view. You can see the NASA worm, and on the far end, um, that is where the phone is. Nicole, can you talk about the significance of the phone there? Yeah, and I think they've maintained the same original phone, like yes. the big handset, you know, like, you know, and um, and it was one last opportunity to, you know, call your, your family before loading up into the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I don't know, I love that, that NASA, and now NASA and SpaceX have maintained these these personal touches to the, the humans that are part of human spaceflight. I think it's really, really important that we do those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And the one other thing that you'll notice um, are the, the white arrows um, pointing towards us uh, on, on the camera. And there, that's not just for design. That there's a very, Although there's, it does uh, those are cool. very, <laughs> it does look cool, but um, that, that they're very intentional. Okay, and so this will be Victor and Soichi yeah. now approaching the pad. So Mike and Shannon got a head start. Uh, Victor and Soichi are, are making their way to the elevator now. I wonder if they're going to stop and oh, they got a strain, or maybe they've already done that to see to uh, get a look up. Here they go. It's kind of like the pre-flight, right? The walk around your vehicle before you get in and fly. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like um, this one carries a little more weight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Incredible. I really want to come up with a name for the move that they have to do when they turn and bend and look back. Yeah, it's the don't fall backwards move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you know, uh, we're having a lot of fun here. We know the crew is, is having a blast. There they, there there they are. Again. I knew they were gonna do it. Um, but you know, this is, uh, they must have so much adrenaline uh, pumping through them because you know when you, when you are getting on top of a rocket, um, your life is at stake. And that's not something that any of the people involved in this mission from start to finish take for granted or take lightly. Um, the folks who work on this program take that responsibility to heart. And like you said, Nicole, I mean, the, when you're talking about the relationships with the people in the suit up room, they have those relationships with people across the NASA and SpaceX yeah. teams. They walk the, the factory floor in Hawthorne and, and the, the people that work this mission, they know the astronauts and they see them as their own family. Here's a look inside the crew access arm um, from the inside. I love this shot. Yeah. You know, when this was being designed, it was definitely a forward thinking design that we went with. Um, we really wanted it to encapsulate the experience of the next era of spaceflight, mm -hmm. really wanting to make it look futuristic, as with the suits and the, the capsule itself, very mm -hmm. sleek and elegant. 
Okay, so here's Victor and Soichi. The last shot inside the access arm was Mike and Shannon. Um, so they're standing now inside the white room. We're going to explain a little bit more about that in a minute. But you can see um, the side hatch of Dragon open, and that is where they are going to um, ingress or climb inside in about 13 minutes if things are on schedule. Yeah. They're signing the wall there. Um, Kate, can you explain what they're doing there with <laughs> yes. the signatures? Yes, so we just saw Mike's. Timeline. The crew has arrived at the white room on schedule. All right, good core call there. Just notifying everyone that the crew has arrived on time. Uh, we now see Shannon adding her signature to the wall. So uh, in keeping with tradition, we painted this room white and um, the advanced team, once again, I'll talk about them. Um, part of their responsibility, also making sure that there's a Sharpie on hand so that crew members can add their names to our signature wall. Bob and Doug did this prior to their flight. And I love that this is really the last thing you do before you get in our spaceship. I just love <laughs> that there's an opportunity and, I, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the list of names grow over time. It's gonna be uh, spectacular to see. Well, you know, if, if everything goes um, as planned, we'll have the next group of four signing their names there in the spring with Crew 2. Mm -hmm. And on Crew 2, one of your one of your crew members will be, um, you know, Megan MacArthur Bankin, um, wife of Bob, who flew DM2. You know, they are my definition of a power couple, and <laughs> I'm say. here for it. I, I love it. I'm really excited to see what the seat assignments will be, because um, it would be really cool if she was sitting in the same position as he was inside the capsule for her mission. Oh, there's a wave. Yeah. This is so, uh, so exciting for Soichi. And I know, he, I know he has some extended family who couldn't be here in Florida for the launch, but hopefully they're getting the opportunity uh, to watch from Japan. And I'm trying to think of what time it is there now. It's early Monday morning. So yeah. uh, if they set their alarm clocks early enough, they'll have a chance to uh Oh, I'm sure watch. they are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I think at this point in time, Victor is making that last family phone call. Mm -hmm. And Kate, we started to talk about the arrows and then we, hi, <laughs> <laughs> we feel like he's, he's watching us. Well, you know, that's so awesome that he's doing that because I, I think I, um, we had talked about this once before where in the white room before, um, because with shuttle, we didn't have that like last meet and greet kind of thing at the ONC mm -hmm, before mm -hmm. getting in the vehicles. We would do, we knew the cameras were there, we knew our families were watching, and we would do like little secret hand signals to our, you know, our spouses ah, and kids. Okay. And they'd know it was coming. You couldn't say anything, but you could do the little love you thing. Sign language, yeah. yeah. But it, um, the arrows, I know you can't see them on the screen right now, but we've mentioned them a couple times. Those are for emergency egress. Um, if, if for any reason the crew had to uh, get out of the capsule, get out of the white room and get out of the, get away from the pad in a hurry, mm -hmm. that is the, the pad, the, the arrows that show them go this way, essentially. And you need something like that because, you know, depending on the situation, you might actually have some smoke or the water deluge system mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. going. And so you just, you tip your head down, you look at the floor, you grab each other and go. Yeah, and if we were to do a quick exit from the tower, uh, we utilize basically baskets that are on zip lines uh, mm -hmm. and they slide down the wire to mm -hmm. safety. And you can see uh, on your screen, the crew beginning the ingress process already. So our timeline has this happening at T minus two hours and 35 minutes. So it looks like they may just be starting that um, a little bit early. There are of course four astronauts who have to, in to, to ingress. So this, this doesn't happen in an instant. Um, it's a process, but obviously that process has begun. 